Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomized Nuzlocke. How are we all doing today? I hope you are all hyped, because we've got a week, a brand new week, a brand new week with brand new content. And that's right, that's because Saturday, two days ago, we got to go and release the first two our episode of Coromon as it is back, baby. No longer is it a demo, it is a full thing, and we are gonna go through it. Uh, I'm just gonna plug that real quick now, and uh, even though it was two hours, you might wanna watch it. There might be something in there important. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You got till like Tuesday. I can't remember the time limit. I have to rewatch it myself. <laughs> but anyway, yes, you should watch Coromon. Because I talk about a lot of things in it as well. But of course, there's also a lot of stuff going on right here as well. But of course, before we begin, make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, let us do a quick team recap. First up, we've got Metalon, the Metagross. Metagross, Matang, Confusion, Metal Claw, Zen Head, Bud, Bullet Punch, Illusion Ability, Lucky Egg, Item. Then we've got Drake the Fracture, our starter. Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Slash, Dragon Pulse, Iron Fist Ability, Luck Incense. Then we've got Aurora, the Toucan, and back for revengeance. Look how mad he is, because he's here for vengeance. Drill Peck, Pluck, Echoed Voice, Beak Blast, Compound Eyes Ability, and the Flyinium Z. Next up is Xmas Tree Tail, the Mega Sceptile, as we round out with our Mega Evolutions. Slam Leaf Blade, Mega Drain Pursuit, Cloud Nine Ability, Grassium Z. Then we've got Gas, the Mega Bonnet, Hex, Shadow Sneak, Will O Wisp, Shadow Ball, Gooey Ability, Inferium Z. And last but not least, we've got M Beguile, the Mega Mewtwo, Confusion, Prismatic Laser, Miracle Eye, Cycle Cut, Light Mezzle, White Glasses. Wise glasses. Huh. So anyway, as we remember from last time, we 1000% forgot to go see Lily in the library. So let's go do that. But yes, we have the return of Koromon, and I am very hype and excited for it, and I really hope you guys are too, because that's going to open up a lot of opportunities for randomized playthroughs of more games. Those are, of course, going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hello, Mr. Person. Fair for free! You can read all the books for free! Yes, that's what a library is. Um... So yes, I would love it if you guys could uh, check that out. Also, if you constantly run walk like this, just mash B, you'd like trip. <laughs> Anyone is welcome to read the books here in Malay Island Library. I came all the way from this faraway region called Georgia to visit Lolola. Is it true you can't use fly around here? Yes, it is. Wow, so it's really a thing. That really is a whole different area. Then how do folks in Lolola fly around? On Charizard. Wow, so everyone just rides around on special Charizard that have been raised for the job? Sounds weird if you ask me, but I've got to admit the riding on Charizard would be a blast. Thanks for teaching me. Here, have this. Light of Ruin? What is this destructive sounding item? Back where I'm from in Jojo, this kind of team is a real big deal. They're called Hidden Machines or HMs because they're really hard to get your hands on. But I guess here it's just another TM. <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, um, we've got, obviously, a whole lot of stuff coming, you know, down the line with everything. So make sure you guys continue to uh, stay on top of everything and, you know, take give a chance for every new thing. Because um, with uh, the channel rebrand getting close to rearing its head, you guys will really want to help me help you guys and continue to push out new content. And that, of course, also includes... Me doing more giveaways. That's right. If this giveaway is successful and you guys enjoy it, uh, I am also willing to do more later on as well. But you guys will have to be able to hit goals because I'm spending my money for you guys for all you are doing for me. Fairy type move. Oh, this also damages the user quite a lot. Holy shit. But it's something I'm considering. This is a book for Pokemon. Okay. 
To defeat ground types, keep it simple. Just use water, grass, or ice. An old photo dropped from between the pages. A girl, a mud stale, and a garden. Oh, a photo. Maybe I can find out who it belongs to by checking out who borrowed the book. Here, I'll hold on to this photo for you. Falling in with the sea folk. The sea folk are mysterious. They skillfully manipulate boats, riding the waves with their knowledge of the stars, visiting each region of the world with knowledge of every legend and riddle the what they one time received a windfall of treasure. Even they themselves do not know where they came from or when they began the, their boat voyage. I became an island challenge champion and wanted to show my vaunted skills in a far off region, but those city's trainers were strong. So as champion, if I had just passed the time peacefully, I wouldn't have had to suffer so much, I say, cursing myself, but I want to leave my claw marks on the world. Today, too, I'll be pushed by my partner to exact revenge for yesterday. Rise with my remaining strength. Yes, springing from Alola. When terrific Tapu travels, the Tapu Guardian deities are each thought to have made their own respective fixed island into their base. However, that is a recent understanding, and the Tapu of old were said to capriciously visit other islands, play with people and Pokemon, and then fly off somewhere else. It seemed as if, for the Tapu, these were aimless trips. But while it may have seemed like wandering, we suspect that the Tapu were trying to facilitate communication between islands. Some myriad Z move to notes. The vigor and strength of the trainer combined with their Pokemon as they bring forth us the Z of Zenith. I thought there's a book somewhere in this library about the legendary Pokemon said to be Alola's very own moon. Alola, young crow, since you're out and about scoring on your own challenge, you must already know about regional variants, don't you? Yes. Is that what I've expected? Yes, regional variants. They arise when the influence of a particular region causes a Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. If you have a local Persian, the regional variant, I would like to see it. Well, sir, that's going to depend on luck. Ah, the ghost trainer. <laughs> Must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Uh, oh, of course. Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just um, read it aloud, shall I? <clears throat> the empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pal on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mock the path for all such finished things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lunala with song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair ever after mute. Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, I belong to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Oh, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here. But I know why you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Crow? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. Ah, uh, yes, her. She's an interesting one. Oh, Crow, I didn't forget. You're here to go, blah, blah, blah. The guardians of the ancient kings. In ancient times, the Tapu served as the leaders of the armies of each island's king. But if they used their Z power in battle, it caused great destruction across the islands because of this, the Tapu came to no longer lend their aid in the walls of men. Oh, you're a trial goer. Just a few steps away from the trial at Mount Hakulani. Well, a few steps in a bus ride, that is. Ha ha! Uh, the Tapu Island and the Cojonas. The Tapu chose the Cojonas of their islands and trust them with special sparkling stones. What reasoning they used to make this such a choice, however, is not apparent to all observers. 
See, the top would regularly keep themselves closed tight in their shells as they absorb nature's energies. After many long years of exerting such energy, their shell will become hard and sturdy. A uh, great and terrible war raged between the Tapu and the legendary Pokemon, but neither side could claim victory over the other. Upon finding themselves equal, the legendary Pokemon then gifted the Tapu with great power of unknown providence. It's only by reading some really terrible books that you learn to recognize the good ones. True. Starting a new book for the first time is like setting out on a new adventure, don't you agree? I do agree. 49! We're getting all the stickies. Sticky McStickerson. All right. Now for realsies, let's head on up the mountain, shall we? Okay. Ah. We've already gotten our encounter with this. It's a Deoxys, yeah? Ah, oh, this time it's a Kingdra. Um, we'll just use Confusion. That's right, you focus your energy. That did nothing. Metal Claw! That's gonna do nothing to us either. That did a lot more than I expected. Oh, because it was a crit, but still. God, that was even worse. Um. Yeah, let's just go with Xmas Tree Trail. Tail. La da 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 da. Ba, da, da na, 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 na. I gotta remember, I'm now in an episode that's only 30 minutes long. After doing a two hour episode and an hour episode, I gotta remember to like chill. <laughs> uh, but we should be fine. Even if it goes over, more content for you guys! Yeah, metal on. A revive, that's absolutely useless. A PP up is absolutely useful. A Castellia cone is absolutely useful. Uh... Okay, we got 19 of these. I should have just used a regular potion. Oh well. <laughs> what? You never see someone take a bus stop to go before? Hey, yo, you trying to steal our bus stop? Best go find your own, you heard. <laughs> Like, what kind of, like, pose is that, like? They look like monkeys! There's like, <gasps> You know? Ah, uh, Metal Claw! Damn it! Zen headbutt? Better. Poor Adam. That's right. I remember we named him Adam. Once upon a time in black and white. This is a great mon. 
Dang, I lost and my homie's gonna fight you. That's just life and Team Skull. We stand up to even the strong. Yo. These are the whitest kids you know. I was about to be like, oh god, this is a sound type. Alright, what is sound weak against? I'm like, no, sound typing? That's the wrong game! It's like, we're not playing freaking Prism right now. Which, by the way, we finished Prism. Which means new stuff is coming soon. I know exactly what it is, too. And I'm kind of excited for it. <laughs> so, you guys should get excited for what's going to be coming. It's, it's a, uh... It's going to be a Fire Red ROM hack that, um... I mean, I could just tell you, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> uh, but it is a Fire Red ROM hack, so it's only as long as Fire Red. The actual, like, it's actually just a visual mod, but it encompasses a lot of different, um, um, a lot of different, uh, la 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 la, la generations of Pokemon, so. <sighs> Why is he not being burned? Find that a little odd. He should have been getting hurt each turn. Oh well. Errora! Bagayala! I don't know if you care, but the base up weighs about as much as Gollum. Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can all chill. Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. Huh. All right. Crow! What's going on? Some Team Skull punks just ran past me going in the other direction. Yeah? I sure wish they'd challenge the league instead of getting up to no good all the time. The league? Oh, ho you'll find out soon enough. Just you wait, cousin. But first things first, if you want to head up to Mount Hakulani, we should take the bus. Uh, it'll blast us up to the top. Yes, yeah, quick as Sky Uppercut. The Executor Express. We will go there as soon as we heal, because obviously I want my PP to be bigger. Wait. I want to increase our PP. Better. <laughs> Oh, why are we so slow? Mm, yes. Oh, and I did see a comment on Friday's episode that you all cannot wait for uh, Generation 8. So I do need to talk to you guys about that. So, Sword and Shield. I currently do not have a way of randomizing it. Okay. Um, because obviously, uh, I don't fully understand the way to set up the, um, uh, the virtual device for it, and I'm not comfortable with essentially jailbreaking my Switch and modifying it through that. As such, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you guys what you want to do. So essentially, we have three options for it. We have three options for what to do after this. Option one, uh, I play a regular Nuzlocke of it, of which, you know, it, nothing's randomized. Uh, and then, like, I'll figure out the deal with the uh, encounters, because obviously there's, like, overworld encounters, and then there are surprise counters. 
Uh, so I'll figure all that later, if you choose that. That's one option. A second option is we pick a static team for me to have. Six Pokemon only. And then we get a team of level fives all set up as soon as like it's possible for me to have a team. And then that is the only Pokemon we can have. That is the second option. And then it's just Nuzlocke rules. If a Pokemon faints, you lose, yada, 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 yada. But I can only use those six Pokemon. So if I lose one, we're down to five. Four, three, two, one, until we lose. Or win. That's the second option. Actually, there are four options. The third option is somebody helps me figure this out. <laughs> and then the fourth option is we just move on and I've got a list of other alternatives for us restarting uh, from Gen 1 or 2 or whatever gens we want to do. So let me know what you guys would like to see going forward for that so that I can start making plans. For instance, if you want only six Pokemon only in the team, I need to get somebody to like get all that set up for me and then trade it over to me and such. So, do me a favor and go check out the bus stop. See when the next one's coming, yeah? I would like to wait and catch the bus. Oh, welcome aboard! Mount Hakulani! I love our outfit, by the way. Uh, over here, cuz! Mount Hakulani is the second tallest mountain in all Lola, and the tallest? Check it out, Crow. See that steep, jutting, majestic piece right over there? The, that's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. It's a sacred spot, yeah, the closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola, said to be the moon incarnate. That's right. That's it. On the peak of Alani Kali, that's where I'll we'll establish our Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah? And up there on the peak of Mount Lani Kali, they'll battle against the Kahanas to become the island challenge champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion! And then when we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and the trainers, yeah? Hmm... I love the challenge! That's the spirit, but we made our own challenge because this game's easy. Whoa, are you walking down the mountain? It's pretty far to the next bus stop. Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. My brother, my Pokemon are like brothers to me. They're not interested in weaklings. Wow. Harsh, dude. Sorry to keep it raining. It's Roto Lotto time! What did we get? That's an amazing powder. Prize money? We really don't need money. Ha! Huh. Ring! I was watching the para parabolic antenna and I found a trainer! Parabolic antenna. Parabolic? I have a parabolic with reading things. Ha 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 ha! Dragolage? What the fuck's a drag? Oh, that's a dragolage. You're a poisson. And dark? Nope, just puss on. Ha! You got fooled by Metallion! Wa 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 wa! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Thanks to Pokemon's help, I can control even the peak of a mountain. 
China tips. The maximum number of poke beans you can collect each day in Pokelongo is fixed. <gasps> you fixed it? How dare thee? All right, so we are on Mount Hokalani. Is that the official like name for this area? Hold on. We're gonna go in here and then leave so I can check a look. Check a look, yeah. Wow, it's not even gonna tell me. Rude! All right, well, let's go get in our encounter then. If I were to hide an item, it'd be right here, but apparently they didn't hide one here. We got rock polish! I don't believe this. Stoutland! Wow. They really didn't hide one. I am shocked. Did we catch your evolution? Fuck, dude, I don't remember. I'm gonna hope we did. Oh God, I hope we did. If not, I'm going to be a very sad. Dong, Boswell, Blasphon. Wait, what? All right. Let's go by P. They're not showing up in our Pokedex. Shit. Well, fuck. All right, looks like we have to go run back and take a look in our PC. No! Would have been right around the air. Damn, we lost our Mount Hakulani. Dang it. Oh wow. It is what it is. Alright, what do we got here? Nothing too interesting. My Sami has been pointed towards space and lighting up its course. Not just that. Pattern seems all regular and deliberate. Pokemon Sword System was made by Bill. I love having a coffee space in the PMZ. Relax here at the cafe while my Pokemon are in the uh, Pelagio, which we're gonna go visit as the last thing we're gonna do. So uh, yeah, we'll continue exploring Mount Hakulani as well as take on probably the next trainer when we are back. So that's gonna be a little fun. Cool. How many Pokemon do we have? 37. So we can't uh, do anything. All right. Y'all go get some treasures. Bye. <laughs> and they're gone.
It's like so broken to be able to like, uh, just like do anything with this. Like, these are all so easy to make and everything and get your hands on. Like, holy crap. Oh, no. Now we want to go here. Pincer. We don't care about. Like I said, I want to see what it sounds like if I collect only rainbows. We're not getting any more, though. Is the game, like, hard-locked on the amount of rainbows you can have on the screen at once? I don't believe it! I mean, with less spaces, it's less likely to pop out, so... Aha! There's one. I just want to know what it sounds like. Oh, we got two to pop out. Squish. Squish, if you keep talking to me, I will make you go squish. No! Ah, poop sickles. Oh, well. But, um, yeah, anyway, so we are getting close to, like, I don't even know how far we are in here, but, um, we've got some more ROM hacks coming up, obviously. Um, we've got Monster Sanctuary actually coming to a close pretty soon, so please take a look at that, guys. It's been a lot of fun, and I think you guys should give it a chance. But, uh, we've got, s I've got something pretty fun planned to, uh, replace that. And then we're probably gonna start, I'll give you guys a vote on what we're gonna start after the next game. We do after Monster Sanctuary, of course. It might be something called Dragon Quest Monsters? What? Did I just reveal what it is? Not really. I got a surprise. Ha ha ha! And that's what I like. Ah, screw it. Let's see what this sounds like. Ready? Mm. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we got a lot of things coming forward. Uh, I did make a post on Friday, so please make sure you take a look at that and leave your comments and everything. And of course, continue leaving likes and comments on all the videos. It helps me a lot and makes me feel really good about myself. Thank you everybody who has been doing that. And thank you everybody f who are going to, uh, move forward and do even more. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay funky,